Welcome to our C++ exploration. Today, we're tackling a question that many learners encounter on their programming journey. Our viewer wonders, what exactly is an object in C++, especially beyond the realm of object-oriented programming? To set the stage, let's clarify that while objects are a key concept in object-oriented programming, their meaning extends beyond that. Our viewer has found that the term object can be a bit elusive, especially when diving into the standards and technical jargon. So let's break it down into simpler terms. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In C++, an object is a fundamental concept that goes beyond just object-oriented programming. Let's break it down. An object in C++ is essentially an instance of a class. A class can be thought of as a blueprint, while an object is a specific realization of that blueprint. For example, if you have a class called car, an object would be a specific car, like my Honda Civic. This object has its own properties and behaviors defined by the class. Moreover, objects can also be created from built-in types, such as integers or arrays. Each variable you declare is an object of its respective type. In summary, an object in C++ is any instance of a type, whether it's a user-defined class or a built-in type. Understanding this broad definition helps clarify its role in programming. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In C++, an object is defined as a region of storage that exists during its construction, lifetime, and destruction. It has a unique lifetime, which begins after initialization and ends when the destructor is called. Objects also have a storage duration, which can be static, dynamic, thread, or automatic. Each object has a specific type that defines its behavior and the operations that can be performed on it. The object type is crucial as it determines how the storage is interpreted and what operations are valid. For programmers, understanding the type helps predict the outcomes of operations during the object's lifetime. For example, if an object of type std vector int is empty, the programmer knows that accessing the first element will throw an error, even if the compiler might not catch this. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In C++, an object is created from a class which acts like a blueprint. It has behaviors known as methods and attributes that define its state. Objects have a life cycle. They are created with a constructor, exist during their lifetime, and are destroyed with a destructor. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos.
And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.